Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Hi everyone and welcome to September Monthly Challenge. For this month's challenge, we will be creating a sheet metal with a thickness of 2 millimeters. Our units is in millimeters, so let's head to our document settings. So confirmed it is in millimeter. Let's now change our workspace to sheet metal. The thickness specified is 2 millimeters, so let's now head up to modify and select sheet metal rules. Now the material was not mentioned, so let's assume it is steel. So heading to steel, let's select new rule and key in 2. Leaving the rest at their default state, hitting save and hitting close. Let's now enter sketch mode. I'm going to hit L for line. So now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Let's select the XZ plane. Let's drop the first point here at the origin. Left click here. Hitting escape and hitting L once more. Creating another line here. So this one will be 44. Hitting enter. Hitting L once more. Creating a vertical line. Keying in 21. Let's move this dimension here. Hitting L once more, creating a line. And double left click here. Hitting escape. I'm going to hit S to grab our sketch shortcuts. And typing ARC, selecting three point arc. Dropping the first point here at the end point of this line. Same with this line. Left click here. Let's add a tangent constraint between this arc and this line. Let's head to constraints, selecting tangent, selecting this vertical line, and our arc. Let's hit D to grab our dimension tool. Selecting this horizontal line and our center point. Left click here to drop our dimension, keying in 32. Now this line needs to be applied with horizontal constraint, I'm going to hit escape, grab this endpoint, selecting this line, right click and select horizontal vertical. Same with this line, which should be vertical. Selecting this, right click and select horizontal vertical. Let's move this line to the left. Diameter for this arc to be 8, so hitting D, selecting our arc, left click here, key in 8, hitting enter. Let's also add the hole here, so hitting C, dropping our center point here. The diameter is 3, hitting enter, zoom out, selecting stop sketch. Let's now create a flange, so heading to create Selecting flange and selecting this profile. Take note the sheet metal rule we have created is this one steel which has a thickness of two millimeters. So let's select this one and I'm okay with this direction going up and hit OK. Moving forward, let's add a new flange. So selecting flange, let's select the stop edge. Let's pull this up and give this a height of 10. Leaving the defaults, hitting OK. This edge needs to be 25 millimeters. And in order for us to cut the material here, let's first create a sketch. So selecting this face, right click and select create sketch. 
Let's hit R for rectangle and drop our first corner on this edge. Let's hover over this corner. Moving to the right, left click here. Creating another rectangle. Hovering over this corner, so projecting a line. Click here, move up, left click once more. Hit escape. Let's make this two lines collinear. So heading to constraints, selecting collinear, selecting this line and this line. Next, let's have this line and this edge collinear. Once more, same here. Left click and left click this edge. Hit D for dimension, selecting this vertical line and this line. Now the distance to be 25. Hitting enter. Once more, grabbing our collinear constraint. Selecting this line and this edge. Hitting D for dimension, selecting this edge and this vertical line. The value to be 14. Hitting enter. And obviously, I made a mistake. Now, this arc should be modified. So, let's head to stop sketch. Head back to our first sketch. Double left click. Selecting this dimension. Right click and toggle this to diameter. And now, the value for this one should be 8. Hitting enter and selecting stop sketch. Heading back to our latest sketch, double left click. From here, we can now hit E for extrude. Selecting this rectangular profiles. Pull our arrow up. Operation definitely cut. And for extent, let's select all. Hitting OK. Let's create another flange. But first, let's select this face and create a new sketch. With the face selected, let's hit right click and select create sketch. Hitting L for line, let's drop our first point on this corner. Moving here, hitting escape, hit D for dimension, selecting this line. The value to be 40. Once more, hitting D for dimension, selecting this line and this edge. Moving to the right, left click here to drop our dimension. And key in 47. Selecting stop sketch. Let's head to home view. Selecting flange. Selecting this edge, holding control and selecting this line. And hit OK. Let's create another flange here and create another sketch. So selecting this face, right click, selecting create sketch. Hitting L for line. Let's drop our first point on this corner. Moving to the right, left click here, hit escape, hit D for dimension. Let's dimension this to 16. Hitting enter. Selecting stop sketch. Selecting our flange. Selecting this edge. Holding control. And selecting this sketch. Hitting OK. Let's create another cut extrusion. Selecting this face. Right click. Selecting create sketch. Let's hit C for a circle and drop our center point at the midpoint of this edge. Left click here, hit D for dimension. The diameter for this circle to be 15. Hitting enter. And hit E for extrude, selecting this profile. Let's pull this arrow down. Under Extent, let's select two object. Left-click this arrow and left-click this face. 
and hit OK. Let's create another sketch. So selecting this face, right click, create sketch, hit L for line. Let's drop our first point at this corner. And here, hitting escape, let's make this line a construction line by hitting X. Head up to sketch and select center point slot. Let's head to look at. Let's drop our center here at the midpoint of this line. Left click, move up. Left click once more. Left click again, hitting escape, hitting D4 dimension, selecting this vertical line, the value to be 25, and the radius to be 2.5. Let's now hit E4 extrude, select this profile, pull our arrow. Under extent, let's select two object, selecting this arrow, left click. And left click this face, hitting OK. Let's create another flange and create another sketch. So selecting this face, right click, select Create Sketch. Hit L for line. Let's drop our first point here at this edge. Holding my left mouse button to create an arc, release. Zoom in, left click here, hitting escape. Let's create another circle at this center point. Diameter to be 5. Hit D4 dimension. Selecting our arc, this one to be 5 as well. Hitting L for line, let's drop our first point at the center point and locate the midpoint of this edge. So here it is, left click, hit escape, let's select this line, right click and select horizontal vertical. Finally, let's add a horizontal dimension, hitting D, selecting our center point and this edge left click here key in 10 and let's make this line construction hitting x selecting stop sketch selecting flange and selecting this profile for the thickness let's select side 2 and hit ok heading to our bodies folder we now have two bodies Let's merge these two bodies into one. But first, let's change our workspace back to model. Hit S for shortcuts, typing COM, selecting combine, selecting this first body and the second body. Operation definitely join, hitting OK, and head back to sheet metal workspace. For the fillets, let's hit F, select this edge, this edge, this edge, this one, this one, and the value to be 2.5, and hit OK. Congratulations for completing your first sheet metal with Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge is brought to you by WSP. WSP is one of the world's leading engineering professional services firms with 43,600 talented people based in more than 550 offices across 40 countries. Thanks WSP and thank you for watching. See you next month for Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge.